Hi guys, I'm just going live because I just went shopping at Trader Joe's. Go figure, this is my weekly haul. I had to get some stuff um, to replenish the things I did not have. And that this was the first time they've had toilet paper. And then the second is to eat some food because I haven't had lunch yet and it's two o'clock and so I'm very hungry. And then the third is I went to try some of the new items and they didn't ha even have them in stock. So that's the benefit of what I do is I show you guys what to go buy when it comes out. And then when I go to get it, there's none there. And it was funny because I had the mask on uh, at the grocery store and the lady, we were talking about the items I wanted that I couldn't get. And she's like, yeah, there's these, there's these bloggers for Trader Joe's and you know, they post things and then things sell out. And I was just hiding in my mask. Like, I, I can't believe that happens. Um, so I'm going to try these. These aren't new, but they're very pretty. And they actually are quite good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, they're sweet and kind of tangy at the end. Um, wow. So the reason I got these is because I want to make a cocktail with... missing a bag. I'm like 90% certain. I'm missing a bag. <laughs> Shoot. That could be bad. <clears throat> there were four bags and now there's three. <laughs> um, it might be, hold on, it might be over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm missing an entire bag. It has wine in it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Okay, well, <clears throat> I hope it's in my car, but I just unloaded everything out of the car. Um, okay, I was going to make a cocktail with <laughs> this and mezcal um, and put one of these little chips in it as like a cute little design. My, my head's like panicking right now. Like, am I gonna have to go back and get it? Like, where is it? Um, Oh my. Okay, well, that's what I have to do. Let's just get to it. Um, I got some spinach to add to my salads. I'm going to air fry this baby cauliflower, I think, tonight. So that looks fun. Um, I got some peas, some English peas. to. Um, actually, I want to put these in pasta. I've been craving peas in pasta. So um, these English peas are super easy to cook. You can steam them um, or you can just put them in your microwave, which is how I've always done it. I was all out of the cauliflower gnocchis, so I got the cauliflower, two bags of cauliflower gnocchi, one bag of kale gnocchi. I literally made cauliflower gnocchi waffles like seven times last week, so I had to get some more. Um, let's see. Ooh, I wanted to try this for you guys. This is the creamy almond vanilla bean yogurt, and I tried the cashew one back in time. Okay, okay, let's open it up. We're gonna give it a stir. All I'm thinking about is the missing bag right now. Like, where is it? Does someone have it? That had all the wine in it, that had the mezcal in it. We just need to be focusing right now on the almond. This is a creamy, creamy almond. Okay, vanilla bean yogurt. Okay, it's nice. It's very light, it's very light. I don't like that there's cornstarch in it. But that is very good. 180 calories, five grams of protein. I'm gonna set that to the side. The reason I say cornstarch is I don't do well with cornstarch, but some of you who have no corn problem, get after it. Okay, I have two bags of strawberries and a Norwegian crisp bread. The strawberries are for my smoothies in the morning. And then, I think a lot of you guys have seen it, I did a post where I put a little bit of frozen blueberries and then some like almond milk on top of it just enough to cover it and you let it like do its magic thing and it turns into like this slushy really good ice cream but it's super healthy so I got some more okay there's, there's some good news guys we're finding the wine at the bottom of the bags <laughs> I really hope I'm not short a bag I hope I'm just losing it today because I didn't eat anything this is the Arath Pinot which is really good it's $12 ish um super easy to drink and it's not too heavy like a lot of Oregon Pinots and this is a Chianti Classico, I think it's $7 and I've never had it, but 
I love Chianti's and a lot of the wines right now are 2018 and that was a very big drought in California and if I'm remembering correctly so I'm just like like a little apprehensive to buy any of the 18 wines maybe I'm wrong Who knows? these are new these are new these are garlic and onion pistachios they have their salt and pepper pistachios which I'm not allowed to buy because I eat them all and then these are um, also known as man repeller <laughs> pistachios because it's garlic and onion breath but it's really up to you I'm in the comfort of my house so I'm just gonna you know I can't repel my dogs they like don't care about the smell of anything these are really good I know I have these little shells I'm just gonna put that I have a lot of flavors going on right now I have vanilla bean yogurt these really delicious brand new garlic and onion pistachios Great, great, great. You guys, I think I'm just losing it all together. Ooh, had to one up my Bomba sauce. The reason being as I have just like, I just opened my backup one. So I had to get another one. And then this stuff is so good. I don't know, have you guys had the, it's been around, it's like new-ish, but it's a savory banana Trek mix. And I do not like bananas at all because they're rude and they their smell is just on everything they touch, but Somehow, this trail mix has figured out a way to keep the banana to itself and actually remove the banana flavor. It's so good. I actually hunt out the banana slices first, which says a lot. These are, this is so good. I, I go through these so quick. Mine. Okay. Yeast. I got nutritional yeast because the one I have just needs to be replaced. It's, I think it's like a year old. But I'm going to be using a lot more yeast because I want to try making, like, using cashews to make, like, Alfredo sauce. So, adding a little bit of yeast keeps it dairy flavor without the dairy. Uh, this is not new, but it comes around seasonally. This is the cucumber and avocado body lotion, which is just wonderful. So, after a nice day in the sun, after a nice day in the sun, oh my gosh, don't you just want to... Smell that. Look how pretty that is. So it's nice and whipped. I'm just gonna. I wanna put it on, but I have garlic and pistachios all over my fingers. So we're gonna hold off on that because I don't wanna do anything to that. Um, and also, the shiitake taki mushrooms. The shiitake mushrooms are um, actually, if you air fried mushrooms before, you just cut them slice really thin and you put a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and you can just air fry them with your veggies and they're just like. They get crispy and I just like them. I also want to try making like a gluten-free like rice crisped mushroom. I'm into like crisping things lately. Um, anyway, brown rice quinoa pasta. Always good to have that on hand. I just used the last of my pasta. I couldn't find the um, the lentil blend pasta, so I was a little sad about that. Um, but I did get a little bars because these things are delish. And I literally will like, if I don't have a cookie for my after dinner dessert, I'll just break one of these in half. They're that good. Well, they have a lot of protein, not a ton of sugar, which is key. Guys, I think I'm just losing my mind because you're here's the mezcal. <laughs> here's the mezcal. I haven't had this one. Um, I literally think I just bought it based off the label. Uh, so I'm gonna try this. Where are we? Let's go back to the beginning, shall we? <laughs> We're gonna do something like this. Um, yeah. I'm a little embarrassed because I was like, where is that? Anyways, that's just my day. This is new and when I'm getting off this live with you guys, I'm going to make this salad. Um, it is new lemon arugula salad kit, which looks great. And honestly, I'm not a big carrot fan in my salad, but this looks acceptable. Growing up, my mom used to put carrots in salad and it was just like, why? Why the carrot? Um, but actually it's, it's Good, they're good in salads. I just like want my carrots separate, which is so weird how we like develop these preferences. Like where did it come from? What did the carrot ever do to me? Uh, Almond Breeze, this is for my smoothies. I use about half of these um, a day, so they go up here. Ugh, for my smoothies. Chips, 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 these are so good. I already bought these. Um, and they're like a lighter chip and a sweet potato. And it's just sweet potato, sunflower oil, and salt, so. Good chip to have on hand if you want a little snack snack. Uh, and then these are cracked, but they're back and they were gone for a while. And between the pistachios with garlic and onion and this 
chili and garlic cashews, I'm going to be repelling a lot of people or just staying in the confines of my house, which is what I've been doing for the last four months. <laughs> I'm fine. And then the organic red lentil pasta. This stuff's really good. Um, also ran out of that, so I want that on hand. And then pine nuts. Um, I bought one of the basil plants and a mint plant, I think in my last haul or two hauls ago, and they're thriving in the backyard right now. So I need to do some trimming and I want to make a pesto. So I got the pine nuts to do that. I got some more of these acerola shots um, because if I end up liking that mezcal drink, then I can make more. And if I don't like it, then I can just be healthy. So that's where those are going. I got some garbanzo beans, two cans, two cans. I like to eat garbanzo beans air prime during midweek with some veggies. They're just easy, great to have on hand. And you can do with the garbanzo juice, that sounds gross, um, but the, the water that's in the garbanzo beans, you can save that and it's called aquafaba and you can like blend it and it turns into like meringue pie topping. Like there's crazy things you can do with it. You can turn it into like a mayonnaise. The internet's a wild place, the things you can do. Um, I bought a bunch of zucchinis because I'm in a zucchini mood right now. I think I'm somewhat seasonal. Like, I start getting cravings for the seasonal veggies, and I don't know where it comes from. It's just somewhere I'm brainwashed, but these are all my zucchinis. I bought a lot of them. And for all of you that are like, oh my god, is she wiping things down? Or her, like, don't worry, I got this under control. This is me. Things will be cleaned, hands will be washed. We will get through this together, but I just want no one to worry about me. Just stay, save the worries for yourself. Okay, uh, blueberries. So I am going to make a YouTube video. Um, don't worry about this either, I'll wipe it off. A YouTube video for the blueberry slush. Um, it's also, well, I'll post it to my IGTV as well. I don't want to call it blueberry slush because it, it's supposed to be like an ice cream, but it's not ice cream because ice cream's ice cream. This is more of like a, I don't want to call it an ice cream because that, that I don't know why that bothers me. I, we'll, I, we'll figure out a new name and if you have any suggestions, DM me for it. Um, some of these go macro bars. Uh, I got a butter because um, I actually have this like really cute French butter holder, which you guys, if you want to store butter at room temp, this isn't an ad or anything. This is literally just like magic. Um, this is like a French butter holder. So it holds the butter and there's like a little bit of water in here and it goes upside down and they're super cute. You can get them on like Etsy and whatnot, but it keeps your butter room temp and it keeps it sanitized because there's like a water pressure lock thing. Science. Okay. And tea tree oil. Uh, I think it's just good to have some tea tree oil on hand. Just it's an antiseptic, um, has antiseptic qualities, but it's just good if like you feel like you're getting a pimple or like something you just dab it on, dab it on. Um, and then can these guys because these are in stock and honestly if you see them and you're like whoa those ones look like battered I bought like the most tore up ones last time and they bloomed into these beautiful flowers so don't don't get scared the beautifulness comes as they bloom late bloomers guys my second that's who I am um what else so I was wrong I actually did have all my bags so that's on me. That's on me. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, you guys have a great week. I hope you had a good three day weekend. Uh, stay healthy. Do your thing. Bye.